Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be starting a color series. So I'm going to be painting one flower in each different color on the rainbow, and then at the end, we're going to be painting a rainbow composition. So today, we're going to start with red. And when I think of red flowers, I think of red roses, and I know that's like totally <laughs> cliche, but that's the first thing that came to my head. So that's what I'm going to paint. And I'm using Alizarin Crimson. It's one of my all-time favorite reds. I'm also using a size 16 round brush. It's a lot bigger than I typically use, but I was just feeling bold today. <laughs> okay, so I've got my Blick Premier cold press paper. Blick Premier is a really good alternative to Arches paper. It's high quality. Um, but it's not quite as expensive. And then my size 16 round brush, Alizarin Crimson. And then I'm going to start in the center here. Now with roses like this especially, it's important to change up the color just a little bit. I like to do this just so this big bold flower has a little more going on than just a really deep rich color. Now I could end here and I would have a really beautiful, lovely, loose red rose, but I like to add a little more detail. That's just a personal preference for me. So I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I'm going to go back in and add another layer to just kind of amp it up a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to go back in. It's mostly dry. So I'm going to go back in with my size 10 round brush. And I'm mixing a little bit of Payne's Gray into my red to darken that up a little bit. Then I'm going to go right into the center. And I don't want to go crazy because I really like what's happening here, but I just want to add a little tiny bit of depth there. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up button and then don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again for watching. Bye!